Hey guys, it's Corey from Mighty Parts. In this video, we'll be doing uh, transmission fluid and filter on a four-speed uh, Jetta TDI. That's anything with an ALH engine, Golf or New Beetle, 1998 till 2003, basically. Um, it's an O1M transmission. It takes four liters of ATF fluid. And we also have a uh, transmission pan filter, new transmission pan gasket. The gasket kit also comes with four spacers for the transmission pan bolts. We also have on hand a new seal for the drain plug, as well as a new plug and a cap. We'll see these when we have to refill the transmission. And we also have on hand, just in case, a new fluid level tube. This you take out of the transmission, you can usually reuse, but in case they break, we always like to have one on hand. Okay, first thing we did was obviously remove the belly pan and the side skirts, and that gives us access to the three shield bolts that are protecting the front of the transmission uh, pan here. They're all 16 millimeter. And there's one over here on the side. Sorry, there's two, one back here as well. Once the shield is off, you can see all the drain pan bolts that we want to take off. But first, we have to drain the pan. The drain plug on the pan takes a five millimeter Allen. Sometimes they're pretty rusty, so you may have to kind of work this one in. The torque isn't too high, so it shouldn't strip on you. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Stuff has been changed in a long time. Completely, completely dark. It's supposed to be a fairly clear red. It's got a little bit of amber in it. Once it's done draining, you also have to take the uh, filler tube out. It's also a five millimeter. Just work that up there and you can unscrew the fill tube. And the drain has slowed to a trickle. We can start removing the four pan bolts that hold the pan to the transmission. Um, I recommend going around and loosening all of them and then trying to get the rear side to come down farther. That way any fluid that's still left in the pan can drain out without getting you covered in fluid. All the pan bolts out of the way, we're gonna to try to work this pan off, starting from the rear. It's good if you don't take these top ones off, you can let it drain without having to hold the pan up the whole way yourself. Once that's pretty much all drained out, we'll take the remaining two screws and carefully lower this thing down to our drain pan here. See, there's still gonna be a little bit of residual fluid left so just be careful because you don't want to take a bath in that. Now here is the transmission filter, pan filter itself. Nothing's screwing it on, it just pops right out. Once again, be careful though because there may be some fluid that's left in the valve body here and that's gonna drip all over you when you take it out. There's also gonna be some fluid in the filter, so see if you can do your best to drain that out before bringing it to your local recycling center. All right, so before we put anything back together, we need to clean out the transmission pan and put a new gasket on here. Just dump that into our little drain pan here and get some freaking parts cleaner. That right there is actually a magnet. If you put your finger on it, you'll notice this very fine dust. It's actually metal that is worn off of the transmission. There's actually a lot of it in here. This transmission fluid is, hasn't been healthy for quite a while. So you want to clean this off as best you can because that stuff you don't want to have hanging out in your transmission. Get the new gasket off. Get the old gasket off, line it up and press it over the lip. That's pretty good. Wipe off the gasket just all right, we've got the new pan, the new transmission pan filter here. And it just actually goes right into the um, hole there. And it doesn't actually, there's nothing that secures it. It just kind of sits. The gasket holds it in place and it, no screw or anything. It'll hold pretty tight there and the pan itself will hold the, the filter up. And catch a couple screws. With all the screws in place, you can now tighten them down. I kind of go around fairly evenly. First thing we have to do is get this transmission pipe back in place or else 
transmission won't be able to hold any fluid. Once you get the tube in place, it's time to get the drain plug back in. Be sure you always new, use a new seal. Torque spec on this is only 11 foot pounds, so also quite loose, but I'm not gonna go all the way down because we're gonna need to take that off later to determine the proper fill level. To refill the transmission, you have to fill it through this fill tube here. There's a red cap that keeps the plug in place. It's got a little locking mechanism here. If you're lucky enough, you can not break it when you take it off. Then it has some tabs and you can pop this guy right up. We're gonna use a funnel with a tube that's up at the top of the engine here. Drop our little adapter into the fill tube. Now we'll pour the fluid into the funnel. All right, we've got three liters in, and in order to get the fluid correct on this transmission, the fluid level correct, that is, we have to turn the engine on and wait until the transmission temperature gets up to about 85 degrees. Then we will take out the drain plug and see if any more fluid comes out. If no fluid comes out, which it means we're a little low, we have to add some fluid. If fluid does start dripping out, we'll let it drain a little bit until it basically becomes just a kind of a drip, 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 which tells us that the fluid level and that red tube are at the same level. To read the fluid temperature, we have to use VCDS. I'm gonna go into select module, and then auto transmission. Next, we're gonna select measuring blocks down here. Measuring blocks, we want root 005, root five. Click on go. And the first field is the uh, ATF temperature. Right now it's quite cold, 33, so we just filled it. We want to watch this until it gets 95C. Once it reaches 95C, we need to pull out the transmission drain plug and let fluid drain. All right, so we've been watching the fluid drain for a little while. It's at 95C, and we're waiting for the point where the stream breaks to know that the fluid's at the right level. Watch for it. Get a little bit thinner. There it is. The fluid jumped back and forth, indicating a break in the stream. And now's a good time to put that plug back in. Tighten it down. Not too tight, the torque spec is quite high. All right, we just got back from the test drive and uh, we were hoping that the one to two shift, which was pretty bad before, smoothed out and with the new fluid in the filter, it was much better. If you're going on a test drive, be sure you do wide open throttle, partial throttle, get it up to full speed, highway speeds, come off of stops, really try to get the transmission to go through the gears to be sure your level, your fluid level is right. If your fluid level isn't right, you'll get some delayed shifting or some hard shifting. Then what you want to do is get back onto the car, put, it, put in some more fluid, let it drain out again, see if you can try to get the level right the second time around. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks as always for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or send me an email, sales at ID Parts. As always, please subscribe to the channel. That way, when I make new videos, you'll get them or be notified of them. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Take care.